G'day guys, Beachy here, Drifter HQ in Gloucester, New South Wales. So Luke's currently away. Um, Luke's away with a few of his mates. He's crossing the Simpson Desert, uh, testing out one of our Dox, Dot 6 equipped trailers. So yeah, he's, um, he's taken one of the Leaf Spring trailers out there to give it a bit of a run across the sand dunes, put it through its paces. And um, yeah, he's gonna report back on that in a few weeks when it gets back. So in Luke's absence, we've just completed another one of our walk up family campers. So. Um, yeah, this is the, only the second one that we've made. The first one we made was mine, so I basically had the prototype. So I guinea picked it for Drifter, which is pretty nice. And um, yeah, no problems with it at all. Like I, I really love the love the family walk up hardtop. Um, you know, I've got a wife and two two little kids. My kids are two and one, and being able to put the kids to bed at night up there in the top of the trailer where it's nice and safe, and you know exactly where they are. They're all zipped up so they can't get out it's, it's really good peace of mind you know so yeah as far as as far as my experience with the trailer it's been totally brilliant you know i wouldn't have anything else so yeah with my trailer of course being a prototype you know, it was a it was the first one so we basically we designed it and built it to the you know the best of our ability as, as we thought it would be um yeah as good as it can be type of thing but with any project of this scale obviously you know once you built the first one you have a look and you think oh well next time we'll, we'll change this and we'll improve on that so this this camper here has got um, a lot of improvements on mine um, a lot of them are quite small and insignificant but they just make it a little bit more user friendly and just make it operate a little bit better so so yeah um, this one here it's only the second one but I think we pretty much got it you know like it's it's pretty it's pretty good it's come out pretty well it works pretty well and you know me having used the first one and then I've just had a bit of a play around with this one like I can see the differences in it and it's, it's really great so this one here is um, yeah so basically the, the trailer is the same as the standard walk-up trailer so you know from the camper down it's basically exactly the same trailer so the trailer the design and the quality of the trailer is pretty much perfected now, I don't think there's much we can improve upon not that I can sort of think of anyway um, you know we've made a lot of these trailers now and uh, they work really well they're very well made of course Aussie Aussie product um, lots of options you know this one here has got the airbag independent suspension on it so you know independent suspension is really good of course you know like um, but we, we also make this with uh, a leaf sprung suspension as well so you've got the choice you know there's nothing wrong with leaf, leaf sprung suspension they you know been around for a long time um, the independent suspension is probably it's probably better um but you know it's it costs a bit different so you know it's not what everybody wants and it's not what everyone can afford um having the dual airbags is pretty good because if you're on an uneven site you can level it up um because you can operate the airbags independently which is really cool but you know if you've got the leaf sprung too you could just chalk it up you know you've got a set of max tracks here so you could pop that under the one wheel just to raise your one side a little bit things like that so either way leaf sprung or or the or the independent is is, is really good so so yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open this up. Um, I'm just gonna concentrate on the actual camper part. Like I'm not gonna open the whole trailer up because um, Luke's done enough demo videos on that, to be honest. So um, I'll just concentrate on the camper part. We'll open it up, have a quick look, and then we'll close it all back down um, just to show you how it all operates and things like that. So so yeah, here we are. I mean, imagine we just pulled up to camp now. Um, I normally unhook the trailer. Um, you don't need to, but because I've got the Prado, like the Prado, it's got a big door on the back so if i don't unhook the trailer the door sometimes it opens but often you know if you're on a bit of uneven ground the door doesn't open fully so and it only takes literally like two seconds to to open it up and i just draw forward a meter and then you've got full access so so once i've unhitched i'll basically come around um this is the step so you undo the strap and then this box here comes off okay so this this becomes your step here this box here is, is fixed in place, and then obviously you, know, you walk up your step, one, two, three, four, and then and then you're up, you're up into the camper. So, so first thing you do is pull that off, and then I, I, I normally take this around the back. I just drop it on the floor here, just so I can reach up and open open the clips like that. Oh, and this one this one here as well. So. So the, there's clips on the back and there's clips on the front. So I open the rear ones first. Um, and when it opens, you know, the main frame goes up, the kids' room comes down, and there's a couple of legs that support the, the, the kids' room. So I get them out before, just so that 
um, it's all ready to go. So the poles are just, just stored in here. Oh yeah, so this is the paddle. So we'll need that when we're packing it up. So I'll just leave that out. Um, and here's the two poles for the kids' room. So I just get these out ready, just so that the, the, it's all ready to go once we're opened up. Just leave them there. And then we'll take this back around, back around the front. Okay, and then we just walk up, nice and easy. Open the, open the clips. And this one. Okay, so now, like all the clips are open and basically it opens in two stages. So we open the kids' room first, and that comes up vertical. And then once that's open, we, um, we open up the main unit. So. so you've got to lift it a bit just to start with, and then the gas struts kind of take it. So. This one here too, there was, when I opened it then, there was a bit of airlock in there because the tent, all the windows are zipped up. So normally when I pack it up, I'll leave one of the windows open just a bit so that when you open it up, it's not trying to suck all that air into the canvas. So, um, so when I pack it up in a minute, I'll make sure I leave one of the windows open just a little bit to let that air in and out of the canvas. Okay, so that one's up, ready to go. And then this one here again, bit of a lift. And then um, I'll put pups like that. Okay, so pretty easy. I mean, fundamentally, she's kind of she's kind of all set up. So I'll just pop round. Next job is to put them support legs under the kids' room there. <coughs> okay, so you just undo these little screws. So these just um, easily undo. They're just like a marine bung, but they, when it's all packed up, they actually stop any moisture getting in there, which is obviously very important. And then this will just lift up here. And basically, all you're trying to do is just take the weight, okay? So there's the one. So yeah, just take the weight of it like that. Try and eye them up a little bit so they look somewhere near, somewhere near upright, look pretty good. So actually, like, you can see that the kids room there is sort of clapped so I'm going to go inside and I just have to move a couple of stretches which I'll, I'll show you in a minute but once them stretches are up and they've just got a couple of thumb screws to, to hold them open you can basically take these legs out I mean I wouldn't recommend doing it but um, like I actually tried it on my last trip I was away a couple of weeks ago and we had it all set up and I just pulled the legs out and it was very very rigid because the canvas the canvas holds it I mean like even even with the canvas as it is it supports itself pretty well but once you've got like the frame holding the canvas taut it doesn't actually want to go anywhere so but yeah you know you, you still always use the legs but yeah it just shows how well well it holds without them so yeah it's pretty good so yeah next job is we'll go inside and just open up the inside before we pop up um we'll just lift up this handrail too so it's just got a couple of these little spring bolts here you just undo and then just lift it up that just acts as a good handhold as you're climbing up here you know especially um, like I say you know I've got the two little kids um, two-year-old and a one-year-old so you've got one in your hands it's really good to have that just to have a bit of support as you're coming in and out so yeah um, obviously before you get in there you want to kick off your boots so good to have a pair of easy boots like that that just uh, unzip or whatever or you know summertime I guess you just have a pair of thongs on so when you go to bed at night you know you just store your shoes under there okay out of the rain, nice and dry. Um, there's a big awning here anyway, so they are out of the rain anyway, but um, yeah, just tuck them in, is pretty good. So yeah, I'll just pop up here, um, open this up. So this frame here, this, is, this goes right across the side and that just um, just hinges up like that. So, so yeah, you've got the frame here, you just basically lift this up. And I'll try and get this, um, get this nice and tight, just a couple of 
thumb screws there. And on that side. Okay, and then we've got these stretcher bars here, so this just pokes in a little recess up there. Clips on, and these are just the twist. These are just the twist lock bars, so they're really, really nice and easy. Nice and light too. These are aluminium ones, so they're great. Okay, so that's basically the main room set up. So you've got a big queen size mattress here, full inner spring mattress, so it's very comfy. Um, on, yeah, I just did a trip too, like I say, a couple of weeks ago, um, and it was very cold. We had some nights that were sort of minus four, minus five. So what we did is um, when it got to that real, real cold, four or five o'clock in the morning time of day, grabbed the kids, the two kids out of the bed and pulled them into bed with us to keep them warm. And um, the good thing about it is like, it's not like a bed at home, you know, four, two adults and two kids in a bed at home, you're worried you're gonna fall off the edge. But in here, like I was sleeping right up against that wall quite comfortably. And four of us in here was actually really comfortable. It wasn't squashed at all, which, yeah, something I hadn't really thought about until we actually did that the other day, so. So yeah, here's the, the kids' room, so. Stretch it up like that. Again, what you do is um, a couple of thumb screws there. Okay, so yeah, here I am, you know, basically supported by them two legs. But yeah, now this is all up and fairly tall, you know, the legs, um, they could probably come out in, in all fairness. So, so what I'll do, like I mentioned before, I'll just open this window a little bit. So, so that when we close it down in a minute, we get, um, get that airflow in there to let the air out of the kids' room. All right, so yeah, big mattress in here for the kids, which is really good. Um, we've got windows on the side, all just zipped up. Okay, and the, the good thing about the kids' room is there's no there's no way they can, like the, the insect mesh here cannot be undone, it's sewn in, so it's totally secure. So obviously the kids, you know, they can open the windows. Um, what we did um, on our trip recently was, we just got a little S-spiner between, between these because our little daughter, she, you know, trying to get her to have a nap in the afternoon and she was a bit reluctant, as they are. So um, yeah, we just put a little S-spiner in there just to hold the zip closed. And then that way it kept it a bit nice and, um, bit nice and darker in here so she actually did have a nap which is good um, and then between the two rooms there is this zip up wall here so this zips all the way up you know so you can zip it up completely um, which is um yeah you know when you're trying to put the kids down for a nap and things like that it's really good our kids sleep, sleep pretty well so um, you know we don't do that normally only just during the day when we're trying to get them down to have an afternoon sleep. Um, normally when we go to sleep at night time, we'd just maybe have that, sort of that sort of height. Um, a few times we just didn't even worry about it. We just folded it up and tucked it in here. So, so yeah, you know, it's definitely, um, definitely a good feature and you definitely need it at times. So, but a lot of the time you might not, might not use it. So it's a lot of room in here, you know, like you can, you know, not fully, but you can sort of stand up in here. So when you wake up in the morning and you're getting dressed and things, it's really good to have that, have this space. It's, yeah, it's, there's a lot of room. It's great, you know, like we're really, really, like we love it. We just absolutely love it. So, but yeah, that's the camper all set up. Um, so there's just the awning there now. So we'll have a look at just setting this awning up. So yeah, here's the awning. So um, obviously this is gonna create a nice shelter over the over the doorway and over the step a little bit um, so what we've got to hold this is uh, we've got these twist twist lock bars again they're really good um, got the little crab crab claws on here so that just pops in and then this just hooks into the hole which is there all right there's the one just stretch them out a little bit i don't know how long that's got to go but There's the second one. Pop them over there. All right. So this little Velcro piece here too. I've got about this. Um, 
this goes around the gas strut so because of the, the struts here you just got this little piece here which fits around the strut all right so it just seals that off and then there's a stretcher bar which goes between between the two so this just fits in on the inside like so So yeah, obviously that, that's, that's got a bit of movement in it there. So we've just got a couple of guide ropes. So drop that down there. Same with this one. Come on there, it's dropping down. So with these stretcher bars too, like what I've done with mine is, these need to be the, the correct length so they work properly. So what I've done with mine is I've set it all up and I've got the length just right. And I just marked a black texture line around there so that when I stretch them out, they're in exactly the right spot to, for it to you know, sit, sit nice and neatly. So just a little tip. All right, let's hook that around there. Just a little tent on that one. Okay, so yeah, the awning's sort of fairly well set up there. Um, so yeah, I mean, that, the awning gives you really good coverage, you know, so as you're walking up here, um, yeah, it's just a, just a nice area, you know, so you, when you get up in the morning, if it's a bit, you know, a bit foggy or a bit damp, you can just sit there, your feet, you, you know, your shoes are nice and protected at night and things like that, so yeah, it's a nice, nice big awning. And that's pretty much set up um, as far as the camper goes, so, you know, it's taken me a few minutes there, but because I'm sort of talking through it and explaining it, of course, like it takes a bit longer, you know. Normally when I set mine up to this stage, it just, um, it probably takes me, yeah, you know, sort of five minutes, you know. Um, again, this one's a little bit different to mine too, so, um, yeah, that sort of changes things a bit, but, yeah, you know, if you're just pulling up the camp for the night, that's all you need to do, jump in there, get into bed, have a good sleep. Um, yeah, so then, under here, <laughs> it's just an option, but, um, yeah, we, we do option to put a Julka hot water shower system in here. So gas bottle on the front, the hot water shower here, you know, standard products on our trailers, um, or standard option anyway. So, um, and then this room here, um, I'm sorry, under the kids room here becomes a, we call it an ensuite. So what we've done is we put sail track around three edges of, of this base. And then we've got a canvas cover to go around it, which is here. So. Pull this out and have a look. So this is yeah, this is what we call the ensuite. So it's really good because with the normal walk-up, the standard walk-up hardtop, the not the family version, there's a swing out ensuite which is you know it's, it's really good, but it's it's much smaller than this one. This one ends up being about it's about 1.4 meters by 1.4 me meters when it's set up. So you know, the shower, the shower will fit on here. The shower head fits here, so you can have a shower. And then if you've got kids like us, or when our kids get a bit bigger, we've got a, a porter toilet, which fits in here as well. Or even just to, you know, if you're in a busy campground, you can have a little table in here and bring the kids into, uh, just change the nappy or, or whatever, you know. So having a big ensuite is brilliant. Like, I really, really love the ensuite. This is it, this is the canvas here. So you can see the sail track around the top here. Okay, and it goes this way. So what we do is we just feed this block right down there for a minute. Just feed this through here. So I just feed that through. So it comes out the other end of it. And then just, um, just pull, pull it through. And then it's got this here is this little piece of velcro here is where the shower head will clip on, so I know that that needs to be pretty much in line with that post. So, back there somewhere, all right? And then you just pull this bit through here. All right, and then we just got these push studs on here. So that just pushes on, he says. Oh yeah.
so push studs on there um, it's really good just having the, the push studs too because sometimes when you get the shower going you need to you need to adjust the, the dials on the jorker shower so if you're in there you know you're about to have a shower so you don't want to come out in the open so you can just you can just pop this off and you can just reach through here just to just to adjust the shower if you need to these just uh, little velcro straps here so just pop them around I don't do them overly tight you know you, you can put them on loose for now and then you can always tighten them up later once we've got the other side on pop them around like that and then we'll feed this side through Then just push stud that on there. All right. So there is the ensuite. So again, um, you know, we don't we don't always set up the ensuite. Um, we went camping where we were camping a few weeks ago. We did it. We stopped at a few places, and one place was like a bit of a campsite, just out in the bush, and um, they had showers and toilets. So we didn't set it up. We just um, just left it open, which is fine. And then you know we went out bush for a bit where um, there was nothing. We were totally remote, just on the back of a farmer's paddock. Uh, we know so, and yeah, having the shower and the toilet then then is brilliant. So it's really cool. So you got a door in here. So we got the girls to um, sew a little flap on here because as you gotta as you gotta open the door, it's just good to have that flap. You can just hold it down with your foot and unzip it like that. So it just makes things a little bit easier. And then it opens up inside here. So yeah, the shower head clips on here. We'll just open this, and we've got a shower head. I'm not sure is it in here. Where it is. So yeah, the, the shower head just comes through here and, and clips onto that bar, and then you, here's your shower. There's a window here, so it's really good. Nice when you have a shower, talking to your neighbors maybe, or whatever, but um, yeah, just having the window, um, you know, again, after you've had a shower, you know, things can be a bit wet, of course, so just lets a bit of air in here, lets things dry out. And um, this window too, like, of course, it only opens from the inside, so the, the zips are just on the inside, not on the outside. Um, so yeah, you know, not as if anyone's going to come looking, but and then when when we use it, you know, we have our towels and, and toiletries and things in here. So this is kind of set up as a as a shower area. I normally have my bag there, change of clothes and things like that. So so yeah, um, that's about it, I think. So so yeah, there's a couple of bows here. So this one window, which is on the kids' room, has got the um, it's got the awning on it, which is really good. So bows just hook in. The little eyelets and then they just slide in like this. One. Okay, so they just keep that nice and taut, which is good, you know, because you can have the window down at night. And then on the on the far side of the it's on the opposite side of the main camper, there's there's a big window there, um, and that's got it's, instead of an awning, it's got like a flap which hangs out because because of the, the, the super wing awning on the camper which creates your undercover area when you're camping. You can't use the bows there, so we've, we've got a couple of ropes and you tie it off to the awning and that just gives you a bit of a weather shield on the other side too. So It's about this time I normally crack a beer, but seeing as it's a bit early in the day, I won't do that at the moment. So, so yeah, I guess what we'll do now is we'll just pull it all down and then that'll be it. All right, so we'll get rid of these bows. Pop these inside and I'll start pulling the awning down. Uh, I normally do the, do the door up because it's easier to handle the canvas with it all zipped up. Undo them ones, please undo these. Okay. Ones. 
and I'll just sort of overlap this a bit. So yeah, we'll um, we'll pop down this awning here. Uh, I guess that's the next thing to do. So I'll just pull these off. So yeah, first thing I do normally is um, is pull pull this down so that I put the poles away, and then because when the canvas collapses, it's just easier to have all this away. So I just pull these off. So that's so first I'll collapse the, the canvas in the kids' room and then I'll pull this down and then I'll, I'll jump out. So yeah, as soon as, uh, as soon as you drop them, them frames on the main family room there, it sort of wants to jump down. So that's why I have all this, the awning here all very flattened. So just tuck it in. Okay, so, right, so yeah. So before we pull it all down, we've got to go and just, just get them poles from out of the, out of the kids' room. So I'll just quickly grab them. So, so basically, we just pull the top down. Uh, we pull down the, the main camper first, and then we jump on the, the front there, and we pull down the kids' room. So, this is strap. Yeah. So this strap's just attached to the top. So you've got to give a bit bit to get it going. But once it's moving, it's really easy. So I just pull it down. So it's it's still under tension there from the gas struts. I just um, secure that in there. What I've actually done on mine is, um, is I've, I've, I've put a hole in the strap, so I, I bring the strap down and just hook it over the handle there, and then you know it's in it's in a good spot. So this is where our little paddle comes into play. So just to push in this, push in the excess canvas. It's very easy. All right. And now I'll, I'll do the same on the front here. Push that in, and now I'll grab the strap. So the strap just needs to go away with the with the canvas, of course. So, all right, and then yeah, just keep these in, and then drop it down. All right. Okay, so that's all secure, and then get the kids' room here. Again, just pulls down. So yeah, I've got that window open, so the air's just rushing out there, which is really good. Just try and keep the canvas nice and taut. Okay. And then basically, yeah, just uh, just tuck in the back and um, do up the rear clips, and it's done. So yeah, I mean that was a bit of a quick sort of shakedown of how it all operates, but. Yeah, like I say, you know, um, it's, it's very user friendly. I mean, you know, if you're setting up a camper for a family, um, as far as family tents go, it's, it's a really easy one to set up. Like, I'm, I'm all about making things as easy and as convenient as possible because if you're, if you're out on a trip, you know, you've had a big drive, you don't want to be spending two, hour, two hours setting up. So, like, I can set mine up fully with the awning, the kitchen, the whole camper in about 30 minutes, which is, um, you know, it's great because. By the time we pull up after after a bit of a drive, the kids just want to get out and play. And the missus is looking after the kids. Thirty minutes to get it set up, and then that's it. We're all on time to have um, a bit of food and things like that. So, yeah, all right. Well, hope um, hope that sort of answers a few questions for everybody. Um, 
if you've got any more questions on on the dock trader of course then um, best to email Luke um, you know you can email myself but Luke's the expert so yeah it's his email address is luke at drifter.com.au so all right thanks guys cheers <laughs>